Bob Menendez, chair of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. Senator, it's always a pleasure to see you. I want to start with the downing of this U.S. drone by Russia. What questions do you have about it and the, respond of the uh, response of the United States? Well, obviously, it was uh, uh, reckless uh, of the Russian aircraft, uh, possibly intentional. Obviously, they're dumping oil on it, as I understand one of the reports said. Uh, it was intentional. Uh, the question is, then, what exactly do we do beyond lodging a protest? Obviously, we're not seeking conflict with Russia directly, uh, but we cannot, at the same time, uh, allow them to interfere uh, with our aircraft in international airspace. And so I look forward to the administration uh, taking uh, a, a more direct uh, stance with the Russians and having some consequences that are meaningful so that they get the message you can continue to do this. Senator, I want to move to the collapse of those two major banks. And, you know, this morning everybody has their eyes on Credit Suisse as well. But you introduced a bill that would, a bill that would repeal the 2018 rollbacks of Dodd-Frank protections. Do you see any similarities between these bank failures and the crisis of 2008? Well, they're not quite uh, the same, uh, for sure. But uh, I voted against the repeal in 2018 that uh, gave the regulators greater uh, oversight over banks uh, like these two that failed. I thought it was taking away, you know, critical elements of uh, prudential standards and risks that should have been be reviewed by the regulators. And I think that that vote uh, opposing uh, the repeal of that uh, oversight ultimately is, you know, justified today, as we see. That's why I've joined Senator Warren and others uh, in reinstating uh, the obligations uh, of those banks to be subject uh, to our regulators at, at a more, uh, you know, significant oversight. But I also have to question the regulators. Uh, you know, they still had, uh, uh, you know, a responsibility of oversight over these banks at the Federal Reserve. Uh, was the Federal Reserve not looking uh, at their balance sheets? Uh, it seems to me that upon looking at them, there were warning signs. And w what was the Federal Reserve, who is raising interest rates, thinking about as it relates to banks like these and maybe others uh, that uh, may be affected by their rate hikes? Uh, and what that means to their depositors. So there's a lot of questions to be raised here, but I think the regulators didn't get it right. And certainly, you know, those uh, who repealed uh, the oversight of these banks, I think in hindsight, they're probably saying, I shouldn't have done that. Senator, meanwhile, in Mexico, after four Americans were kidnapped there, only two survived, the Mexican president said Mexico is safer than the United States. The Washington Post says more than 500 Americans are still missing in Mexico. Is Mexico a good partner to the United States, Senator? Well, look, I think uh, we have a real challenge with Mexico. I've been outspoken about uh, where Mexico is being taken under President Lopez Obrador. Uh, you know, he recently said there's no fentanyl, uh, you know, manufacturing in Mexico. That's just simply false. Either he's deceiving himself or he's trying to deceive uh, the Mexican people. Uh, but certainly we're not deceived, and that's a huge consequence for the United States. Um, you know, uh, along the border communities, uh, it, it is the uh, cartels that control the border communities, not the government of Mexico. Um, you know, so Mexico uh, has a responsibility uh, for the safety and security, not only of its citizens, but of those citizens from across the world, including the United States, who travel to Mexico. I was asked yesterday by a dear friend, uh, should I let my son go for spring break? And I'll be honest with you, I said, no. Uh, I just simply feel that uh, President Lopez Obrador, when he came to office, he said, we're going to, you know, not have any more bullets as we deal with the cartels. So we're going to send them kisses. Well, that hasn't worked out too well. And lastly, Senator, you wrote a letter to the CEO of Starbucks as four New Jersey locations are still waiting for uh, their first collective bargaining agreement. What's your message to uh, the CEO of Starbucks? Follow the law. Obey the law. 
Uh, the workers uh, voted to organize and to have a union. Um, and under the law, once they did that, and it was affirmed that uh, their uh, election was legitimate and they chose to unionize, Starbucks has a responsibility to negotiate with them in good faith. And Starbucks clearly has not done that, hasn't even attempted uh, to negotiate with them, follow the law, and if not, face the consequences. Senator Bob Menendez, it's always a pleasure to see you. I thank you very much for your time this morning. Great to be with you.